Good evening, Michael Troy with ABC News. Investigations have begun into the deaths of four men in a mining tragedy in central western New South Wales. The accident occurred at the North Limited Gold and Copper Mine near Parks during a routine maintenance operation. 65 miners were underground at the time. It's a very sad day. Uh, it's with deep regret that I have to uh, give you this um, statement. Uh, we're doing everything possible. Uh, fortunately, apart from the four that I mentioned, it appears that there is negligible other injury, if any. I don't know. That is to be confirmed. But it seems that everyone else is all right. ABC reporter Joe O'Brien has been to the mine site and he joins me on the phone now from Parks. Joe, do we know any more details about the accident? Michael, the managing director of North Limited, Malcolm Broom, had, has just held a press conference at the mine site. He's confirmed the four men died when they were hit by a wind blast. That happened after part of the ore body collapsed. The force of the wind was so strong it flattened a thick concrete barrier. These men were 150 metres underground. Now, the miners who survived, there were 57 of them, were actually deeper in the mine at about 400 metres. It took them about two hours to reach the surface. None of them was injured. Thanks, Joe.